everyone. I'm Todd Morrison from Destination Sellers, and we're here for our year in review 2020, as well as our most popular products for the year. 2020 proved to be a very challenging time. Um, we don't need to, to say how difficult it was, but we had a couple of wins throughout, and we really appreciate everyone who supported us through the year. Throughout the year, we celebrated some real milestones, including our fifth anniversary, as well as along those five years, amassing 10,000 guests who've gone to our events over the journey. When COVID-19 hit, we were able to quickly go into the Zoom format to bring you our events online. We thank Hartwood, Lark and Sullivan's Cove for jumping quickly and allowing us to distribute all of those tiny little packs to you at the very start of COVID. We ran with that format for about six months before we were allowed to see you in person again, and particularly culminating in our fifth anniversary event, which from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everybody who made that possible, including all of the distilleries, the people involved, and of course to you who supported us by attending or purchasing bottles. Thank you. We were also able to give back to the community with our charity events online, we were able to raise a considerable sum for cystic fibrosis. We were able to put nearly 500 meals into people in need in Hobart. We were able to support the Tasmanian Devil Foundation, as well as some wombats and some very happy forester kangaroos out there. And now I'd like to introduce to you our products of the year. Firstly, our Tasmanian whiskies. Coming in at third place tonight, is Tasmanian Independent Bottlers, 50% single cast sherry cast that was made for our fifth anniversary. We had a lot of fun with Tim making this one. You can tell by the two homeless blokes on the, on the label. We hope everybody who bought this enjoyed it. Coming in at number two is one of our favorite whiskey families from Overing. Again, it's our fifth anniversary bottling, natural cast strength port cask and one of our favourite whiskies of the year indeed. Before we tell you our number one whisky of the year, I'd like to introduce to you the runner-up or special mention award. In very small batches, Hartwood released the Hartwood Stubby, good for barbecues and social occasions. For those of you who got hold of one, I hope you cherish it, a great little drink. And now, our number one whisky for the year in the Tasmanian whisky category, drum roll, was again our Lark fifth anniversary port cask finish in musket. It's no surprise that our fifth anniversary whiskies were in the top positions this year. We would also like to thank the other participants, including Sullivan's Cove and Hobart Whiskey, for their efforts in our fifth anniversary sets. Our next category is whiskey in general. And coming in at number three, from Ben Rich, their Cast Strength Batch One Peated Whiskey. Joining it in the number two position is the Ben Rich Cast Strength Batch One Unpeated Whiskey. These two whiskies proved to be extremely popular, coming in at a very reasonable price for a Cast Strength Whiskey. The honorable mention tonight from the staff recommendation is the 40th anniversary of Carvalan, but there's no way I'm gonna pull one of those out again. So, we would just like to thank all of the people who've supported the Glendronics, the 15, the 18, and the 21 year olds. If we had more of them, we'd be able to give them to you. But our honorable mention goes to the Glendronics. Having said that, yet again for the fourth year in a row, our number one whiskey, Yet again, is the Glendronic 12-year-old. The Glendronic 12-year-old is a great value for money whiskey and should be on everybody's cabinet. To our most popular gins, coming in in third position, for the very first time, it has not got the number one position from Sheen Estate, your multi-award winning Poltergeist unfiltered gin. In position number two, out of Ireland is the Method and Madness Irish Gin. 
Our honourable mention for gins comes from the retiring gin. In collaboration with Bert Shug, who produced this gin for our fifth anniversary. It has been barrel aged in ex domaine Cabernet barrels and also includes wormwood. And in number one, we have a new gin for you. Coming from Summerlees Distillery. The Summerlees Distillery Dry Gin has been your most popular gin this year. Congratulations to Paul and Sarah and family. Very well done. And now to our best selling beers of the year. Coming in at number three, the perennial favourite from Hobart Brewing Company, the Harbour Master. Coming in second place from Black Hops is their double IPA, the Super Hornet. The honourable mention comes from a collaboration. This is the collaboration between Shambles and HBC called the Juice Springsteen Hazy IPA. I think it would be one of the great t-shirts if you boys ever want to get some out there for us. But a beautiful beer, congratulations. The number one selling beer from Destination Cellars this year from Hop Nation comes the J Juice, formerly the Jedi Juice, New England IPA. And there's our top suds for the year. And that's a wrap for the 2020 Product Awards. Congratulations to all the producers and the gauntlet has been thrown down for 2021. Thank you for supporting us as always at Destination Sellers. Goodbye.